Shalom, shalom, people of God. We greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's a blessing to be in the presence of God once more. You know? And uh, I go by the name of Obed. I am Brother Obed Kasembele. I am the translator of uh, the servants of God and my Father in Christ, Paul Bwakasa. And I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. May God bless you for this time that you've taken to make yourself available to be in the presence of God once more. It's really a blessing. It's truly a blessing. And I know, I know that uh, the celebration is still ongoing. I know. Uh, Yesterday was the first day of the year. Even today, the second day of the year. We are are still happy and joyous that uh, we've made it. We've made it to the next year we've made it to the new year we've crossed over to the new year which is 2023 and that's a blessing to see that god has protected you from january to december god has seen you walk the path and he still keeps you strong and going it's really a blessing it's truly a blessing you know it's worth something to thank god for and that's what we are here for to be in the presence of God, to thank Him, to glorify His name, to praise Him for the fact that we are alive today. Because there are those who couldn't make it to the next day, who slept last night, and that was it. They didn't wake up, they never woke up. You see? But you and I, who are alive today, who are breathing, who are with family, possibly brothers or sisters or your parents or your children it's a blessing and that's why we're going to take the time to pray just to thank god for the fact that i am alive today you know because it's not don't don't take it for granted see god protected you from january to december so there's a reason behind it you know jeremiah 29 verse 11 says god has good plans for us not of evil or bad but of welfare of goodness of blessings you know breakthrough you know of marriage perhaps of uh, financial breakthrough of finance of childbirth you know maybe last year you were struggling with financial issues and this year God can do something amazing in your life that's why he protected you from January to December maybe this year it's the day you get married maybe this year is the day you can have a child maybe this year is the year that you start up a business that will you know be fruitful all it needs is little gratitude and faith so this time we just take it to thank god for what he has done for us for the fact that we are alive today we are breathing we are with family and friends it's a blessing one more thing after thanking God for the fact that you are alive today and the fact that you are in 2023 now this is the time this is the time to start planting good seed so that in the year in the middle there you are reaping blessings amen why am I saying this because I've noticed most Christians because they crossed over to 2023 now they want to relax listen let me tell you something Christians never relax you know why because the devil will never let you relax he knows you are a child of promise he knows you are a child of blessing he knows that you brother in christ you sister in christ you mother in christ and father in christ you have a blessing in you you have breakthrough and the devil is not happy to see that no he never is uh, he's, he's never happy to see that so he will fight you he will do all he can to remove you from the will of god so you will take this time this little time we have not only to thank god that you are alive but also to dedicate your life to god this year you know for once let's try to be real christians let's try to do things the right way for once at least this year make a decision 
make a decision as a spiritual person that this year i want to serve god this year i want to have spiritual growth this year i want to pray more this year i want to serve god in all i can i want to go out and evangelize this year i want my ministry to be open i want to see begin to unlock whatever god put inside me nothing is impossible with god if god put in you the zeal to evangelize or the zeal to preach put in you a gift to preach the gift to evangelize go out there and begin to preach evangelize do something do god's work that is what is needed because if god protected you from january to december it's for a reason for your blessing for your breakthrough maybe last year was your year of failure was the year where whatever you did it just didn't work out but maybe this year not maybe this year this year this year can be a year of success of blessing of harvest of grace of favor but only if you realize that it's only if you are spiritually aware and vigilant because because you have crossed over from 2022 to 2023 don't think the battle is over no trust me the battle is even more difficult and harder this time because now you see it's a higher level that you're going into god is about to do something amazing in your life this year and the devil is not happy so because you're going to increase in spirituality the devil also increase and all his plans to destroy your life to steal your blessing to make you distracted so i want to tell you this evening don't be distracted i know there is celebrations going all over we are happy we crossed over yes it's a blessing thank god for that but do not be distracted because the enemy is still watching the enemy is still working he's trying to destroy your life to steal your blessing and he will do each and everything just to get you out of the will of God you know as a Christian when a new year begins the first thing you should do is ask God God what are you saying about this year where do you see me for the God what are the plans of this year as a Christian it's our duty to ask God because God is the one that leads us we ask him father God what are you saying about this year the first of the month you ask him father god i don't know how this month is going to go but i'm leaving it in your hands that's it that's the life of a christian of a true christian dependency on god because you know that god can do anything and everything for you as long as you walk in the will of god and that's what your prayer has to be not only thanking god but also living this year in the hands of god that he may do something wonderful and amazing in your life this year this year is going to be a great year for you a year of blessings a year of harvest a year of grace a year of anointing a year of ministry but also don't forget there will be battles listen as a christian you have to understand and you have to come to terms with the fact that there will always be a battle in your life don't you wonder why joseph had battles in his life david the israelites they all had battles joshua had battles in his life because the devil sees the blessing he sees ahead the devil is very cunning the devil is very very cunning very crafty and he can see your blessing already you don't see it yet no you don't see it yet but he can see because he knows exactly what god wants to do in your life that's why the devil saw what was in david he said ah oh, david is going to be a king someday let me do all i can so that that does not work david that time never knew it never crossed david's mind to be king even when he had his army and soldiers and everything it never crossed david's mind but the devil could see that that's why he used soul to get to david to kill david but because david was walking in the will of god he was protected and that is the goodness about walking in the will of god when you walk in the will of god when you be become a true christian when you are a true christian who obeys god listens to the voice of god 
God will protect you at all costs, no matter what the devil throws at you. God will give you the strength to handle it, to handle the situation. And God will protect you from anything that will sort of threaten your life. Why? Because you're walking in the will of God. God protects his own. Do not touch my anointed, the word says. God protects his own. God protected David. God protected Joseph. God protected Joshua. These were people in the Bible that had so many battles in their life. Why? Because they had a blessing. So even you, throughout this year, if a battle comes in your life, don't be scared. Just know that's a confirmation that yes, in me, I have a blessing. In me, I have a ministry. So the devil is threatened because he knows if I serve God, something powerful and amazing will happen in my life. And that's why. As a Christian, you always have to pray. The Bible says pray ceaselessly. Pray without end. Because the devil works without end. No, that, that guy, the devil, he works 24-7 trying all he could. Just to fight. Just to break and destroy your life and steal your blessing. That's the devil for you, I'm telling you. No jokes. He's not happy. He will never be happy seeing you with blessings. No. So, I know you are celebrating. It's a new year. You want to start afresh. Start your year, your new year with God. And see what God will do for you. Because even the Bible says, even the Bible says, test me. In the book of Malachi, God says, test me. And see if I won't open the floodgates of heaven and shower blessings upon your life. So, you want God to bless you? If you really want God to bless you, just walk in the will of God and trust me. God will bless you. Because God does not like to live with a debt of someone. If you do something good for God, no, no, no. It will touch God's heart. It will, it will move him so much he will touch your life. That's what moved God to bless Job. Job was so faithful, so blameless. He touched God so much, he blessed him twice. And that can be you this evening. Just take the decision to dedicate this year to God and to serve him diligently. And trust me, I tell you, God will do something amazing in your life. So we're going to pray now. We're going to thank God for us being alive today. And we are also going to dedicate this year to God. You, you just make a decision that me in 2022 is not me in 2023. I'm a different person. I'm on a new walk with Jesus Christ. And Vopa avec Jesus Christ. Amen. For this year, that's, that should be that should be your life moving forward this year. That should be your plan moving forward this year. That should be your project moving forward this year. So we're going to pray now. We're going to pray. We're going to thank God. And we're going to dedicate this year to God and see what God can do for us. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for your blessing, for the grace, for the mercy bestowed unto us, Lord. Father God, we thank you for the fact that we are alive this evening. We are once more in your presence, Father God. We are once more alive and praising you and thanking you, Father God. Because there are those who didn't make it, Father God. There are those who didn't make it to this year you didn't make it to the next day but as for us father god you protected us and we thank you father god we exalt your name we glorify your name that we thank you father god we exalt your name we praise you 
pray that you protect our family members, our brothers, our sisters, our parents, all those, our children, all those connected to us, Father God. May they be protected, Lord Jesus. We dedicate this year into your hands, Father God. We dedicate this year into your hands, Father God. Every plan and project I have in mind, Father God, may be blessed. Dedicate this year to serve you diligently in truth and in spirit and in word, Father God. Indeed, Lord Jesus, we leave this year into your hands, Father God. That may you take over, take control, give us the zeal to serve you. Put such a fire in our hearts to serve you diligently. Give us strength to fight these various battles that will come in our paths. Father God, because we know we are chosen. We are the chosen people. And there are going to be battles. So give us the strength to face these battles. For it is written, the battle is yours, but the victory is ours. And we pray this evening, Father God, that moving forward, may you fight these battles for us, that they do not make us lose faith and lose hope, Father God. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Before we leave, I just want to remind you that there was sad news last last night, yesterday. We lost one of our one of our people. Mama Chantal, yeah, she, she passed on and uh, my condolences to the family, to the husband, to Ma Bienvenue, to Papa Robert, and the children. May God comfort you in this time of sadness and grief and may God protect you from anything that the devil has planned against you during this time of mourning. We are gonna pray for them. We're gonna pray. We are gonna pray for my bienvenue and Papa Robert and the children whose mother passed on. That may they be protected and may they be comforted. And that may God heal them from this pain, from this grief. We're gonna pray just that God may touch them, heal them of the pain, protect them from all evil, and comfort them from the loss they've experienced. Let us pray. Oh Lord God, I pray, Lord Jesus, we come once more to humble ourselves in your name, Father God. It's sad news that it happened. We pray for protection for my bienvenue and her, and her children and her husband, Father God. May you protect them from all harm, from all darkness, from all evil, whatever plot the devil has against her. In Jesus' name, we break it and destroy whatever chain or bondage or link the devil has in store against them. I pray, Father God, that you take over and take control of their lives. And may the Holy Spirit comfort them and be there as their guide. Father God, may you heal them of the pain that they feel at the moment losing someone so close for the God it hurts there's pain there's grief there's confusion for God you know too well that pain for God for once upon a time he you sent your only son and he died for our sins and there was pain that you felt seeing your son on the cross die for our sins for the God so I know that you know what they are feeling and I know that for sure you can comfort them you can heal their pain you can get them through this testing time through this struggle for the God I pray that may touch their hearts heal their souls for the God just be with them and guide them and comfort them in any way necessary for the God that they may heal from it and I pray for the God 
We leave the children unto your hands, Father God. We leave Shekinah and Remy unto your hands, Father God, that may they be protected from all darkness and all evil standing in their paths in Jesus' name. Father God, these children lost their mom. Oh, that's very painful. We pray that you may fill the gap in their hearts, Father God. We pray that you may comfort these children. They may grow in your will, Father God. They may, that they may not go astray, Father God. We just keep them in your will, in the path of righteousness. For at such a time, children will go out and about to seek ways to deal with the pain and indulge in all sorts of things. I pray, Father God, you keep them away from such darkness in Jesus' name. I pray, Father God, you just take over and take control of their lives. It's a new year for them, but a year started in sadness and grief. I pray that you keep them alive and you keep them blessed. You keep them safe from all harm and all darkness. And you bless them and you comfort them during this time. I pray with thanksgiving as we say, Amen. Amen. That is all. That is all we had for today. Thanking God for this new year, for this season of grace, blessing, anointing, and favor. This is a different year for you, a different year for me. I don't know what to expect in this year, but I know that I'm with God, and that's all that matters. You know, the Bible says that who can stand against us when we are with God? You know, who can stand against you when God is with you? Because God is above everything, everyone, every demon, every giant, every Goliath, the devil himself. God is above all that. So why should we be threatened? Why should we fear about tomorrow? The Bible says, let tomorrow worry about itself. So, brother in Christ, sister in Christ, it's a blessing to be here. So, we should be thankful and grateful for that. And just keep my Bienvenue and her children and her family in prayer. That may get comfort them truly in this time. And that uh, may the children be protected from any harm, from all sorts of darkness or any influence of, the, of demons. We just pray they may be comforted and that they may heal from this pain because it's really a troubling time for the family. Extend such your regards, condolences to the family. Support is very much needed at this time. And for the rest of you, may God bless you, may God bless your family. God bless you, brother in Christ. God bless you, sister in Christ. God bless you, mother in Christ. God bless you, father in Christ. Whoever is listening right now, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Whatever time you receive this message, you are blessed in Jesus' name. This is a different year for us. It's a year of blessings and grace. Yes, a year of new things. The Bible says God is creating new things. New creation, a new earth, a new heaven. And a new identity in you. You're going to be a different person. You're going to be a new identity in Christ. But because you're going to start a new walk with Christ, trust me, you're also going to get new battles, a different type of battle. It's how it is as a Christian. When you begin to accelerate in your spirituality, when you increase the level of prayer in your life, trust me, a battle will follow you. I'm not threatening you. It's just how life is as a Christian. We are chosen people. Amen. We are chosen people. We are blessed people. We are the children of Israel. Amen. That is us. But just like the children of Israel, there will always be battle. But God will always stand there to fight for us. For the Bible says vengeance is his, the battle is his, the victory is ours. So may God bless you. 
Shalom, shalom. Have a good evening. May God protect you, your family. May God protect you wherever you are right now. God bless you. And may you have a wonderful day, wonderful evening. In Jesus' name. Shalom. <laughs>